Me, me, me. That was nice. That was a harmony, I think. I thought we were, I think we were singing in the same pitch, but. I, I think I was a little lower. Or uh, maybe you. We can do it again. Okay, wait, should I go lower? Yeah. Okay. Me, me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think maybe we should leave the concerts to the actual musical people. Yeah. So, I mean, we have a lot of upcoming concerts. I don't, I'm not sure if it's instrumental or vocal. I know they're both coming up soon, so. I don't know which one. Either way, we should attend neither, unless we're in the audience. Yeah, we should go in the, you should all go in the audience. But if you're not part of the class, don't try to sing with them. <laughs> that is not, it's not like a sing along fun thing, you know, otherwise no. they'd have like signs being like, sing, sing along sing, and with please. the lyrics, you know. Yeah, but that's not, it's not a karaoke bar. No, unfortunately, I think we should do that. <gasps> yeah, Eagle's Eye takes karaoke. Uh, Oh, I was gonna sing High School Musical again, but I do that a lot. Yeah. What other like what karaoke song is there that's good? Uh, I had the time of my life, and I never felt this way before. And I swear. Hey guys, it's, it's Thad from the Eagles Eye, and I'm here with uh one of the orchestra director here at North Carolina High School, Miss Malcasian. So we're going to talk about an event that's happening next week. So tell the people what's uh, happening next week. We have uh, our spring concerts next week. Choir on Tuesday night and instrumental, which is guitar, band, and orchestra, is on Thursday night at 7. Both right. at 7. So uh, what are some of the pieces the orchestra is going to be, going to be playing? Orchestra is doing, we have a separate select strings piece. We're going to feature uh, one of our violas. She's going to play a concerto. And we're doing, um, for the orchestra, the string pieces we're going to do... Um, Jurassic Park, so that lots of people know the theme for that. We're playing a, a piece called Russian Sailor's Dance, which is fun to play, and I think we'll like it. I also arranged um, a few pieces from Hamilton, the musical. Um, and we're doing a symphony orchestra, which we started doing last year. Hopefully every year we'll do it, and our symphony orchestra involves uh, 12 members of the band. So that'll be fun. Yeah. That sounds really, really cool. So you are you also do guitar, right? Yeah. So what pieces are they going to be playing? For guitar, we are doing, um, we actually have a select group for guitar this year. We're calling it Selectrics because they're electric guitars. They have a separate piece that they're doing, which is pretty cool. Um, and we're doing uh, a couple, actually, soundtracks for guitar also, which is going to be fun. And uh, Jackson 5 piece, I Want You Back. Um, and I actually arranged the William Tell Overture for them, too. So that'll be pretty exciting. That's really, really impressive. So why should people come out to this event? Well, I think it's a great, first, it's free, though, so that's good. It's a great night to come see students perform if you're a teacher, uh, your own kids perform if you're their parents, if you're just in the community looking for something to do. It's helpful for us to have our audience supporting us to show kids that it matters, that people want to see this. Um, and it's a fun night. There's a really good range of music to hear, so it definitely won't be boring. Well, you heard her. Come out to the concert. The instrumental concert is April 27th, starts at 7 p.m., so we hope to see you all there. Uh, and I'm here with uh, Cole Messick, one of the, our band members, and he's going to talk to us about an event that's happening next week. So, Cole, tell the people about an event, this event that's happening uh, next week, bro. Well, we're having our instrumental concert here at the high school. It starts at 7, and the band's going to be playing, and it's going to be great. You guys should all come out. Uh, it gives you something to do, and we've all practiced hard. All right, so uh, what are the pieces that the band's going to be playing? Uh, the band's going to be playing a song called National Emblem, a simple song, Galileo's Vision, and Fanfare for the Common Man. So what's your favorite piece out of all of them? Uh, my favorite piece would be a simple song, mostly because I have a solo in it, and uh, I love playing solos. All right, so you're a senior, so this is your last concert, so what are your emotions going into that? Well, this would be technically my eighth total concert, two for each year, so... Uh, it goes back a while, and like I try not to get my emotions into it because if I do, then I might mess up. So I try to keep them together for the band. All right, so why should people come out to this event? Um, it gives you something to do. Uh, it's on a Thursday night, right? Yeah. And uh, not many people do anything on Thursday nights, so you might as well come out, and we've all practiced hard. Right, so you heard him. Come out to the concert, or the instrumental concert, April 27th at 7 p.m. Uh, we hope to see you all there. I'm here with uh, Ms. Danoff, our great choir teacher here. So we're going to talk about the concert coming up next week. So uh, what's actually happening next week? What's the event? So the spring choir concert is April 20... Nope, it's wrong. Fifth. What is it? 
It's the 25th. <laughs> We're gonna try the whole thing again. All right, okay. Do it again. All right. Come on, Phil. Come on. You good? It's the 25th. Yeah. All right, yeah, you it's ready? so early. We're back from break. I know, right? All right, so, hey guys, it's definitely Eagle's Eye, and I'm here with Miss Danoff, our great choir teacher, and one of my favorite teachers. So, and we're going to talk about an event that's coming up next week, so uh, tell people about it. So, the choir concert is April 25th. Um, it's going to have my concert choir, gospel choir, and select choir ensembles. Um, it's going to be an absolutely fantastic concert. We give awards, um, there are solos all over the place, it's a lot of fun. All right, so uh, tell the people what we're going to hear, like what music are we singing? So we're doing, as, as usual with me, stuff that's in English, some stuff that's in some other foreign languages, um, and a very wide array of genres. So again, everything from gospel to classical um, to some more modern stuff. We have some Broadway as well. So it's a nice grouping of music. Right. So what do you think uh, was the most challenging piece for uh, your students to learn? I think that everything that we do has some aspect of difficulty, um, and they're all different. So um, one piece we're doing, Nyon Nyon, um, is uh, all nonsense syllables, and it's really working on articulation and working on dynamics. And so that's what's more difficult in that piece, whereas we can do another piece where the notes and the pitches and the harmonies are more complicated. So I think everything right. has, you know, has its difficulties. Right. So why should people come out to this concert? Um, above all, our students work really, really hard, as do I. Um, but the students work really, really hard, and I think that it's unfortunate when they put in so much effort and then do a concert and there's nobody there to watch them. Um, it's deflating for them. And I think that as a community, we need to be supporting these kids more. Um, and with as much work as they've put in, it's just good for them to see some friendly faces in the audience. Right. All right, well, you heard her. Come out and support us. Our concert is uh, April 25th, and we hope to see you. Hey, guys, I'm Thad from the Eagle's Eye, and I'm here with uh, Miss Malkasian, our uh, orchestra teacher here, and we're here to talk about uh, the upcoming concert that's coming up next week. So uh, just uh, tell us about what's happening next week. Well, next week we're doing it a little bit differently than in the past because we're doing just the chorus concert separately on Tuesday night, the 25th, and instrumental, which is orchestra band guitar, will be Thursday night, the 27th. Okay. next week uh, everything starts at seven in the auditorium right so i uh, just tell the folks um what's going to be heard like what are we uh, going to be playing uh well i can speak for the orchestra and guitar that we're doing there's actually a, a few movie soundtracks in there and musical soundtracks um i haven't heard i don't know the band titles but i know that that sound kind of big and lots of percussive kind yeah. of fun yeah. i know chorus is doing their typical fly like an eagle yeah. At the end, or like an eagle, pardon right. me. Um, so good stuff. Some some things that are familiar, but also a lot of new things too. Right. So why is it important that people show up for this concert and support our um, our young instrumentalists and uh, vocal? Well, I I think coming shows that it's important. It's just as important as other subjects. I think it is as important as other subjects. It gives kids a creative outlet, and not everyone is great at math or science or, or sports, and so I think it's a really good thing. You still have to be creative and think. It shows you teamwork. Um, it's an important subject, and people coming show us that they also think it's important and, and a good thing to do. Plus, I hope that it could be a community event and, you know, something free to do on a weeknight that won't run too late. Kids can come because they could be home by 8, 39. So right. it's a good thing for everybody to come to. Right. So how would you assess your uh, students' work of uh, putting, putting oh, the work in for this concert? I think they put in a huge amount of work. And, you know, I usually tend to pick harder music for the spring because they've had one concert under their belts, the freshmen yeah. typically. Now they've done a winter concert. And now yeah. we can move to harder things in the spring. So I think from all the ensembles, you'll hear some more difficult tunes uh, some more challenging things a little bit longer. Yeah. In the spring, we have a symphony orchestra, which is different. We also, for the first time, have Selectrics, which is an electric sort of select group that's separate from the rest right. of the guitar ensemble. And everyone participating put in a huge amount of work in class, outside of class. Um, there's, everyone's done really, worked really hard, and I think we're ready. Right. Well, that's Miss Malkasian, our great orchestra teacher here. Like she said, just come out to the concert and uh, support our instrumentalists and our vocalists. So we we'll hope to see you.